Financial Accounting 13, Installment Receivable Method, Gross Profit Method. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep. My email, my website, and also my book, Cost Accounting for Dummies, that will be out in March of 2013. So first of all, on installment method of revenue recognition, let's talk about the theory behind it. And the theory is, is that there may be a risk of non-payment of a bad debt. So you want to recognize the receivable as payments are received, which is the most conservative way to recognize the revenue when you actually get cash in the door. This is the same question asked two different ways. And the first question is, what is the deferred gross profit at the end of year two? And typically in an accounting problem, what makes it difficult is that you have two years just as you do here you have two different gross profit calculations and that's what makes things complicated because you have to keep the year straight, year one and year two, and you have to keep the deferred gross profit rate straight. <clears throat> so what I suggest is, is a start for starters is set up the question this way where you've got columns year one, year two, and what we're trying to get across here is, is that this is the time period year one this is the time period year two. On the, on the horizontal we have, these are the receivables you receive related to year one. They come in two different years. These are the receivables related to year two. They only come in in year two. So that's what I'm trying to get across. Once we do that, <coughs> you can calculate, use the gross profit percentage that you're usually given in the question. 10% and 12 and a half, and we're just multiplying across Y times Z. 10% of 30,000 is $3,000. So in year two, we have the receivable 30,000 times 10%. There's $3,000 of profit in that 30,000. And likewise, the year two receivable that you have a balance in in year two has a 12.5% gross profit in it, which means there's $6,250 of profit in this $50,000 receivable. So again, note that the percentages are different depending on each year. So as of year two, you've got $9,250 of profit that is deferred, and it's deferred until you actually get cash payments, and then you'll recognize the profit add a little mer a further explanation here. You're given it in the question the installment sales for the year, which you don't really need for this question. Cost of sales for this year and gross profit. Now, sometimes you're given the gross profit percentage. Other times you may have to calculate the gross profit percentage. In this question we were given the percentages, but if you had to figure it out you would take installment sales. Usually the question will say all of these sales are on installment to make it easy. Less cost of sales. A sales, B cost of sales, A minus B is gross profit. Those numbers are listed in blue. And then if I take gross profit divided by sales, I get gross profit percentage. So 10,000 divided by 100,000, I get my 10% that I use over here. 15,000 divided by 120, I get my 12.5% that I use right here. And that's how I get gross profit percentages. Now you'll note that the question's slightly different. The first one was defer gross profit in year two. We figured out it's $9,250. The next question is, well, what if they ask you the installment receivable balance? and they give you sales and they give you gross profit and the percentage. Well you could actually back into the number that way. You've got thirty thousand dollars here. <coughs> if they gave you the gross profit percentage of three thousand and you knew that that represented ten percent of the balance, you could say three thousand divided by ten percent equals 30,000, which is what I did here. If they gave you the deferred gross profit in dollars,
and the gross profit percentage. If you took 6250 divided by 12.5%, you could back into the receivable balance. So by taking gross profit in dollars divided by gross profit percentage, you can get the installment receivable balances. The last part of the question is cash collected. Cash collected. So I have a formula here that says the cash collected is the gross profit recognized in all years times the gross profit percentage. And this is a little hard to follow. So we take gross profit recognized, 60,000, 30,000, which relates to up here. We have it in both years. If we divide by gross profit percentage, we get cash collected. So if these numbers were the gross profit in total, gross profit in total, divided by gross profit percentage, we would get cash collected in one year. <clears throat> if this was gross profit, 50,000, and we divided it by gross profit percentage, we would get cash collected. And you'll see also that I put down the total receivable is the original receivable less cash collected. I think that's common sense. So, again, if the numbers were changed and you had to figure out how much cash they collected and you were only given gross profit recognized, not receivables, if these numbers were gross profit recognized and you divided by 10%, that's the cash you collected. So what we're saying is, is that over these two periods, year one and two, we collected $900,000. 10% of it was profit. So our gross profit in total must be $90,000. We collected $400,000 for year two. 12.5% of it was profit, which means $50,000 was gross profit. I use the same numbers, but the table is different and what you're figuring out is different. So, to wrap up here, you can figure out the gross profit by taking the receivable number times the percentages. You can figure out the receivable balance by taking gross profit, given gross profit, divided by the percentages to get the receivables. And if you wanted to figure out cash collected, and these numbers were the gross profit, you could take gross profit divided by the gross profit percentage, assuming you were given that to get cash collected in both cases. Gross profit divided by gross profit percentage, there's my cash collected. That's the end of Financial Accounting 13. We have video textbooks compiled from YouTube and also additional material in half hour and hour long units. You can find on my website, my YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL. You can email me for a complete listing of videos on YouTube. For live tutoring and live chat sessions, here's my website, the book Cost Accounting for Dummies. Here's my email and my phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.